Good morning, my friends. Thanks for watching uh, on my first video. I really appreciate it. Um, before I, um, before I talk about, and uh, before I elaborate my Pico's story, right now I want to talk about my current issue. It's dysmenorrhea or menstrual cramps. Um, I never had menstrual cramps when I was younger. Even though I had um, irregular periods, but now I'm I'm at my uh, four months. Wait, yeah, four months postpartum. Uh, it's my day five of my period and i still have my menstrual cramps it's painful the second day that was the worst feeling it was very painful and Like somebody kicks my um, l uh, lower abdomen. Right now, I'm not taking any medications, and I haven't been to the doctor or to see an OB gynecologist because of the lockdown. So maybe next month, or maybe in a f maybe in a few weeks. Like right now, I'm I'm with the baby, I'm breastfeeding him, and he's listening to me while talking in front of the camera. So yeah, um, I never thought that menstrual cramps are painful. And I thought, I thought, like, I'm gonna faint just feeling it. And, and now I understand why my classmates before, when, when, when we were in high school, why, why they have, uh, why they have to skip classes or you know one day absent because I've heard them saying that <laughs> baby I've heard them saying that when every time they have the their dysmenorrhea um, they just want to be in the bed the whole day and they're really in pain they're really uh, they were in pain they were crying i just i uh, i thought it was like oa oa because you know i never had uh, this dysmenorrhea before i was somehow i was very active active in a way that i walk a lot so somehow it was like an exercise for me but now like since i gave birth to my baby uh, i've uh, i've i don't have any i don't have <laughs> i haven't done any exercises yet cuz i'm afraid for my um the CS surgery well right now it's healing but I can't commit uh, uh, an exercise yet and during the second day of my period I was really screaming in pain and I felt like uh, my I'm just having an overreaction of of the dysmenorrhea and then the time 
I could really say that yeah the feeling was real and um, yeah the whole day I was just staying in the bed with the baby and um, I just want to sleep um, I just want to stay in the bed uh, I, 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 I don't want somebody touch me except my baby i don't want my boyfriend to touch me like i'm very irritable like just a single touch or a single touch like no like i i i scream like a, a lion like never felt that bad before like yeah I, I really felt so bad right now like um very irritable like um to be honest um since since um i get pregnant like i'm having this irritable feeling and and I don't understand why somehow um, pregnancy changed me um, maybe this is what they said um, it's this is what they say it's hormonal and and I don't know if uh, my feelings um, if it's valid I think this is the reason why like why why um, women uh, new moms are uh, having postpartum this depression because they don't know um, if they're just feeling OA um, They just don't understand what they're currently feeling, and right now I just want. And this is the reason why I'm creating this vlog. I'm creating a vlog as a new mom. <laughs> What's that? I'm just creating a new vlog as a mom because um, I just want to share my experience. Oh, somebody's listening. I'm really conscious when my baby is listening to me. I just hope that I will feel better without any medications right now. Um, somehow, I felt better than the second day. Because, like last night, I was able to uh, help my my boyfriend in pe in preparing uh, um, dinner and the other day I was able to um, clean the dishes well actually I don't do much I don't do much a lot of home chores here but I, I my only me time is going to the shower because having a hot shower is oh yeah it feels good and and sometimes i not really sometimes like most of the time i spend 30 minutes to one hour but my boyfriend said uh, i spend one to two one to two hours in the shower yeah so um that's it i hope i hope uh um i'll get better uh, in the next few hours and maybe all i need to do is to uh read more about dysmenorrhea because to be honest i have no idea uh, about this like um, I don't know like 
It's like, hey, I just met you. I just met this Minoria and I don't know you at all. So I have to get to know this Minoria better and how to pre- prevent this uh, in in the next in the next um, monthly period. Well, I have to say that I still have an regular period and I hope yeah, I hope uh, I will have a regular period and and I hope that I don't I don't have to feel this diminuity in the next in the next uh, in the next month. Um, I think this is the same feeling when uh, when uh, when I was. Like, every time I breastfeed the baby, like, there's a contraction, a uterine contraction. Maybe that's the reason of my menstrual cramp. I really don't know. Maybe, um, I'll ask, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll ask my, uh, the ob Um, I will raise this issue with the help of my... Um, boyfriend because uh, we don't speak the same language and my interpreter is my boyfriend it's difficult with a language barrier and it's also difficult to speak when there's a baby sleeping beside me oh I'm just I don't want him to be in a, I don't want to expose him in in the in the public I mean in the social media so just a sneak peek like that okay mm. well yeah I need to be more educated about this minoria and I hope I could find answers on how to prevent this. Okay. Ciao.